television dude here and this is my comic book collection this should be a very long video in multiple parts this is one reason why I still wish I had the power to upload more than 15 minutes which got taken away from me and I've never gotten it back oh well well anyway uh, not sure where to start but I guess we'll start with these two price guides I got two of these Overstreet comic book price guides. This is the 23rd edition. I think I got this in the uh, mid-90s. And then I got this one, which I love the cover of. That is epic cover. And maybe in a box somewhere, which I can't get to at the moment, I may have some old wizard price guides from the early 90s when I first started comics and some overstreet price guides but that's not really important so I guess I'll start with my trade paperbacks I got Spider-Man Carnage I got Chasing Dogma which is if you watch the Kevin Smith movies this is like what happens between Dogma and Chasing Amy I think or is it between Dogma and Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back well it's something like that. I've already forgotten. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Elseworlds, Batman, the Blue, the Gray, and the Bat. The Elseworlds was like uh, comic book stories but in another dimension kind of like. Like what if Batman had was around the time of the Civil War. And that's pretty awesome. We got Batman vs. Predator. Batman Run, Riddler Run, Punisher Batman, Spawn Batman, Batman Spawn. Back in the day this was a pretty unique crossover because things like this didn't happen. One of these was done by DC and the other one was done by Image. And this was a cool one that I bought, uh, Stan Lee's Superman. I'm not sure if he ever did any more of these, but this was pretty unique. Like what uh, Stanley did his own take on Superman, the Superman story. Batman Legends of the Dark Knight Halloween Special. Not really a trade paperback, but you know, it's it's kind of cool. I kind of something I just put off to the side. Batman and Darkest Night, another Elseworlds. What if uh, Batman had uh, Green Lantern's power? Seduction of the Gun, which is a c pretty cool anti-gun story. I, I, I think it won an award or something, or or got some uh, publicity. Batman Houdini, another Elseworlds, like, uh, yeah, well, you get the idea. It's probably my favorite Elseworlds, Superman speeding bullets. What if, when Superman came to Earth, he was raised by, uh, by Bruce Wayne's parents? And he, uh, and he, uh, came the Dark Knight kind of with Superman's powers. Really awesome. Some of these that I got from the Science Fiction Book Club. Most of these bigger trade paperbacks coming up I got from the Science Fiction Book Club, which I do recommend for comic fans. I don't know if they have all these anymore, but, uh, the, the deals you get off this site is unreal. Even buy one, get one free deals all the time. Batman Vampire. Thor Visionaries, Kingdom Come, Project Superheroes, Batman The Dark Knight Returns, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Some of these I don't know if they have anymore, like I said, but they some of these they still do. Watchmen. Uh, a weird one that's just called Becoming Batman, the possibility of a superhero. It goes through uh, what are the possibilities of man actually having superhero abilities and things like that. Haven't read it yet though. Savage Sword of Conan. Let me push these aside here. This is Batmanga. 
which I also got from the book club. This is the uh, the Japanese Batman Tales from uh, all the way back in the 60s, I think. A lot of people didn't even know they existed for the longest time. Batman R.I.P. Some of these I still haven't read. Uh, I get too much stuff and I don't have time. Iron Man, The Ultimate Guide. This one did not come from the book club. I got this at, an, at a store near me at a flea market. Ghost Rider, The Visual Guide. I'm the biggest Ghost Rider fan, so... Kirby, The King of Comics. The story of Jack Kirby. And it's a pretty big book, too. The Marvel Encyclopedia. Updated and expanded. These are huge. The DC Comics Encyclopedia. These are my two pride and joys. The DC Comics year by year. It's got a lithograph inside and stuff. These are huge. And the Marvel Chronicles. This one comes in a box. All those came from the book club. Now let's get on to some comics. Not all my comics are gems. I might as well tell the story of how I lost a bunch of comics. <clears throat> it was uh, in the early 90s. Uh, I started collecting comics the time that uh, Superman had died in the comics. That's when I started. That caught my attention. And then it went from there. Yeah, I was laid off from my first job ever and uh, I had like a thousand dollars in the bank maybe a little bit more and I was supposed to save some aside for my car insurance and I just had the biggest addiction of all time I started there was a comic book shop in town and I spent all day there sometimes uh, sometimes I would just sit there and help the guy out who worked there I mean I didn't get any benefits for doing it but I was just so addicted and I bought so much stuff I, I even had him set comics back aside for me that, that I couldn't afford that very week and stuff. And next thing you know, months go by, my car insurance is due, and I don't have money to pay it, and my mother throws a fit. A total, utter fit. And she makes me go that very day, take all the comics I bought, take them back to the store, and resell them back to the guy. Yeah, that was a pretty embarrassing uh, time in my life. <clears throat> and, of course, like the guy's going to give me $1,000 back for the $1,000 comics that I bought. Yeah, right. I think he gave me like $250. <laughs> but my mother made me do it, and I had to do it. I know, very shameful. But I had stuff like uh, the first 10 spawns. Because this is when Spawn came out at the time, and I had a bunch of Valiants. I had, uh, I had pretty much the whole entire Death of Superman storyline. From the time Doomsday hit Earth, to the funeral with a friend, I had all of those. I had the black bag copy of Superman when he died. I had bo almost a, a full box like this, full of comics, and I had to take them all back. It's a shame. I probably could have set some money comics aside, and my mother would have never known, but I didn't, I don't know why I didn't think about doing that. Maybe I was afraid she was going to go through my room or something, I don't know. The New Mutants. Not all these are gems. Here's an old Incredible Hulk. Here's another Incredible Hulk. David Banner free at last. These keep falling backwards on me. See if I can do this better. Countdown, 4, 2, 3, 1, th The Thing. I'm not going to read all these off. Here's a, here's a Godzilla. Rom, the Space Knight. Here's a G.I. Joe. Another G.I. Joe. Here's a Doctor Strange. Another Doctor Strange. Not sure. Oh, uh, a few of these came from my ex-roommate. 
he was going to attempt to get into comics. So, so he bought a bunch of these off eBay. And I, uh, these ones right in front here are, are, are some of those. And then he ended up not really reading them, and he, and he gave them to me. Here's some of the ones I bought. Ho Hokum and Hex. It was the Marvel Razor line. For superheroes from the mind of Clive Barker. This is a number one issue. Here's the number one issue of Beavis and Butthead. I need to get some of my missing issues in here. I got one, then it jumps to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's the number one issue of Biker Mice from Mars. It's a shame that not, not all number one issues are worth stuff. Kind of like the spawns. I, I've heard recently that all the spawns have gone down in price. I remember when spawn number one was 20 bucks, maybe more, maybe 30. I can't remember how much it ever went up to. And uh, now I heard that some guy at a flea market had trouble even giving it away. And he put it in his, like, his 50 cent box just to give it away. I don't know if that's a true story. I don't know if you can trust everybody to tell stories at a flea market. This is a special Incredible Hulk sp uh, issue about dealing with AIDS. <coughs> Moon Knight. The only reason why I bought these Moon Knights is because at the time, an artist or a writer in these Moon Knights, his stuff was going up in price through the roof. I think it eventually went downhill and they weren't worth anything in the long run. But for a while there, those were going up in price. Here's uh, Daredevil, Fall from Grace, Chapter 1, Chapter 3, I think I had all these, 4, 5, here's one I like, Web of Spider-Man number 1. 